for other than angels or if you like uh, the, the spirit world that the Bible talks about. As far as biological beings are concerned uh, in this universe, we are alone. Uh, we are it. God made one man, Adam, the first man, Adam. He made the first woman, Eve. Uh, we are all descendants of Adam. Adam was given dominion over, over the earth uh, for, for man's good, for God's glory. Other Christians try to reconcile their religion with the new visions of the universe offered by science. Father Stephen, a Jesuit priest and geologist. If there are aliens from other planets that come to Earth, it seems to me very reasonable that they might have uh, developed a along a religious path that would represent their authenticity and the revelation that has been uh, made by God to them. So I would think that we would welcome uh, such alien humans if they should ever arrive and if they do exist in that kind of a frame. Faced with the vastness of space, some religions leap to embrace it. Robert Morningstar, a Hopi Indian, performs the dance of the universe. reservation in the back country of all the primitive societies in this globe, the elders are sitting there wondering, when are you going to wake up? When are you going to realize that we are not alone? That is an arrogant statement. The divine beings, whether they be extraterrestrials or star beings, they have been here, and, and I marvel because in the civilized world, we are taught it is okay to believe in a divinity who lives in a paradise with pearly gates and, and golden paved streets, but you cannot believe in extraterrestrials. You can believe in heavenly chariots, but you can't believe in extraterrestrial or UFO ships. The arrogance is beyond me. This outfit, which represents the stars, this, this armband, which tells the story of the universe in three clouds. And from these three clouds, first man was born. This is hundreds and hundreds of years old. Don't you find it amazing that primitives openly talk about, about star beings, about people who live out there? We've known it for hundreds and thousands of years. But even as they dance with the universe, some are better than others at keeping their feet on the ground. As Comet Hale Bob sailed through the skies, an obscure cult in California decided this was the sign for them to meet their maker and his alien spaceship. We don't believe that our Father's kingdom has much need for these flesh bodies, but it's possible that a spacecraft will come down and we'll walk on them board that craft, and they'll take these bodies from us. Thirty-nine cult members committed collective suicide in the belief their souls would be swept away by the alien craft riding the tail of the point. They had paid the ultimate price for our fascination with extraterrestrial life.